this ordinance. And I just want to say, <laughs> yes, you have freedom of speech, but we don't have to pay for other people's canvases. And that's what we're doing with the sidewalk. Like this, you know, this isn't temporary. This isn't washing away in the rain. We have to go down and scrub it. You know, if we're not cleaning it, the city work is not That's tax their dollars. So, so proudly want now. So to allow the chalking is not freedom of speech. It, it, the, um, Steve Lindsay mentioned the yellow ribbons, the political people, people standing in the square for all kinds of uses. That's very true. The Occupy King group is out there each week. They take their signs home with them. When they leave our square, those gentlemen pack up their stuff, and kindly go across the street, and they put their signs in their cars, and they go. They're not signs of anyone's private parts. They're not swastikas. They're no Nazi sayings. They're not racial slurs. These are people that are holding the signs that they believe in. They come, they dedicate a couple hours a week to what they believe in, but they take it home with them. My tenants, which I have many on the square, the common is their back backyard, essentially. They should be able to bring their children to our common, to the downtown, without seeing all of this stuff. Do I think we need another law? No, probably not. But for the better of our community right now, yes, we do. And, and we should revisit it. You know, because with any luck, five years from now, we won't have that group from here. They won't live here anymore because they have just moved on to something bigger and better in their lives or maybe get a job. But okay, I, seriously, uh, I just want to keep the group, I'm, this group, that group. I mean, I try to allow a little, uh, just a second. I, I just want to make sure it doesn't happen again. I've tried to let people stray a bit, and I think you've got your point across, but I, I would ask you to focus on whether or not you support this committee recommended to the full city council the researching of the possibility of an enforceable graffiti and why you do or do not. Absolutely. Because your children, my children, all of their children should be able to walk through the park. And it's not about hopscotch. Because mm -hmm. we want our kids to play hopscotch. They can do it in our driveways. Mm -hmm. They can do it on their, you know, their own sidewalks in front of their homes where their neighbors know their children and think that it's cute and we might even join in to play. But that's not hopscotch. I mean, now all of a sudden there's hopscotch, you know, once a day in Central Square, but there never has been a big hopscotch community. So all of our downtown needs to be protected, not just the common. You know, the main salon had a swastika outside. You know, just because it's chalk doesn't mean it's not graffiti. Graffiti doesn't, does it, does it, is there somewhere described that, that graffiti can only be written in spray paint? It's graffiti if it's offensive, it's destroying public property, if it's insulting people and hurting our community and the people that are traveling here. You know, one woman spoke of a group of folks that came from a different country that were here this past weekend. I saw them too. And they were from Germany. And they were absolutely disgusted by our Central Square. They couldn't believe 
that they came to Keene, and of all the places in the world that they came, that he and his partner walked out to the common and saw Swastika. That's not what we're about. We're a good community. We're full of good people. We're all like family, whether we know each other or not. I encourage you to please pass the ordinance or um, make the motion yeah. to research there is an no ordinance. ordinance. <laughs> please make a motion to research an ordinance for us. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, my name is Dr. Sean Pileo of King, New Hampshire. One of the arguments raised tonight has centered around the issue of free speech and whether a proposed ordinance with regards to graffiti -ing would be an impingement upon the First Amendment. It is unfortunate, but perhaps rather telling, that those individuals who have brought up the First Amendment have failed to bring up the 225 years of case law that our nation's top legal scholars, the Supreme Court, have done regarding that amendment. So let's take a look at the 1989 case, Ward versus Rock Against Racism. That case, which has been reaffirmed timeless times now, has suggested that freedom to speech is not a panacea. Instead, there are reasonable restrictions that a state or city government may place against the freedom of speech so as to achieve a reasonably tailored and legitimate public interest. In particular, in the case, Four criteria were raised as to whether a state restriction of freedom of speech will be legal. It must be content neutral, narrowly tailored, serve a significant government interest beyond simply wanting to restrict speech, and leave open alternative channels for communication. Now let's examine these with respect to a proposed ordinance. It would be content neutral. The person who says, I love City Hall, would be just as guilty of an offense as the person who says, I hate City Hall, as would the, the person who draws the Hopscotch Square, as the person who decides to write their number on Central Square as a means of singles dating. Whatever it may be, that person would be an offense. It doesn't matter what you're saying. Now let's look at whether there's a legitimate government interest here. This city's greatest resource is at Central Square. Indeed, we know that our downtown area brings millions of dollars of tourism each year. Moreover, it is a place where people go to shop, people go to dine, and people live. There is a significant economic interest in preserving the downtown area that people want to go to, to shop, to dine, to stay, and to live. Thus, arguments saying that the city council has something better to do, I would suggest, are not accurate. There is nothing more important for this council to do than protect one of the city's top economic interests. So is there a legitimate public interest here? Yes. As we've had other people say tonight, people are feeling uncomfortable going to the downtown area. They feel intimidated. It's not a place where they want to go alone. It's not a place where they want to bring their children. There is an interest in wanting to preserve a downtown area in which people feel free to go. Now, is this narrowly tailored? Absolutely. There have been false arguments tonight that this is a ban on hopscotch. Indeed, we saw outside a chalky on the sidewalk saying, don't make hopscotch illegal. That's reducio ad absurdum. It's not illegal. You're not making hopscotch illegal. You're making, drawing a hopscotch square on city property in a historic district that has a prime economic interest illegal. If the children want to play hopscotch, draw it in their driveway, draw it at Wheelock Park, go up to Robin Hood, draw a hopscotch there. Go to the places that are designated for that type of recreation. Don't do it in an economic area. When we put a child in handcuffs, I doubt this is gonna be an ordinance where we're gonna throw somebody into jail. As we've said, this is an ordinance that is only proposed. We're gonna look at the enforcement. Are we gonna bring out the handcuffs? No. Are we gonna bring out the ticket book and find somebody? Probably. So the mental images of locking up a child need to be eliminated immediately. They're not true, and they're merely uh, tools to try to evoke emotions that have no place here. Is this narrowly tailored? Will speech still be legal in the downtown area? Absolutely. This is not a ban on total speech. It is not a draconian, downtown shall be a silenced area. Are other manners of speech available in downtown? Yes, you can bring down your sign. For the artist that wants to have their art admired downtown, why don't they bring their own chalkboard easel downtown, draw it, be admired, 
And at the end of the day, they take the work to remove their art, rather than using city property and city money to remove the art. So, we have a legitimate public interest. We have a content-neutral legislation. It is narrowly tailored, and there are other means available for communication. Thus, is this legal within the Supreme Court language of the First Amendment? Absolutely. Thus, the issues of free speech do not belong in this argument, unless you wish to argue with the Supreme Court resolution on this matter. Now, ironically, if you were to go to Washington to try to picket the Supreme Court on this issue, you're welcome to hold the sign, but you better not graffiti on the sidewalk in front of the Supreme Court, because a, a valid ordinance in Washington East Street makes that illegal. Isn't that ironic? That before the Supreme Court, our nation's top arbiters of what is constitutional or not, you can't graffiti. I'd say that we should follow the example of the Supreme Court rather than misguided notions of what is within the First Amendment. Thank you. time and two more to speak uh, for the second time. <coughs> that will be oh, it. I'd like to sneak once as well. Uh, okay, then uh, please stand behind the man with uh, the Dream Team t-shirt. Sir? Um, and that will be it for uh, public comment for this evening. Uh, good evening, my name is Rafael Hernandez and I live at the square. Um, I've been living in King Hams for like four or a year. And when I came from to the city, I actually was running away from places where destruction and stuff like this happen often. Um, I support the ordinance for the city. It's not an ordinance. Well, <laughs> this, yeah, the research of the ordinance. <laughs> well, uh, I'll let it go. I don't know what we're talking about. Well, we're going to stay at the right. The research for the Robinson. ordinance, OK. Um, for the fact that I believe in freedom of speech, okay, but I utilize my voice to make points. I don't need to deface monuments. I don't need to deface the ground, and or you know, utilize all the means. That's why I have a voice for, it. and I could 